Awesome. Thank you so much, Mona. Good morning, everyone. Thank you. All right. So yeah, we're going to be talking about computing using computer using agents in Copilot Studio. So uh, agenda, very simple. I'm just going to start with a very brief introduction of what computer using agents are. And then we're going to jump right into a live demo, which is the purpose of why we're here. So computer using agents, uh, it's an amazing new capability of AI models. We can basically send them a prompt of a task to perform on a computer. And the AI model will take that prompt and connect to a computer and perform those tasks using a mouse and keyboard. So for example, I can say, hey, I need you to go into a specific website, look for a report, and download the CSV report. We send that prompt to the agent. The agent connects to a computer. The, the, the agent then takes a screenshot of the computer and builds a plan depending on what's on the computer. So for example, for my use case, where I need to go to a website and download that report, the, the AI model is going to analyze the screenshot, see that it needs a browser, locate the browser, and move the mouse to go and open the browser. And it's going to repeat that process every time there's an action. It's going to take a screenshot and reanalyze the agent. And this is super powerful because this, this way, the model, the agent, is able to adapt to any changes. It's able to understand what's on the screen and dynamically adapt to any changes in the, in the automation. And here at Build, we're super, super excited to announce that computer use is now available in Copilot Studio. As many of you know, Copilot Studio is our product to build agents. And up until now, you could add to your agents thousands of tools to different APIs-based um, actions. Now, with computer use, your agents can also interact with applications and websites that don't have APIs. And as many of you know, there's tons and tons of applications that don't have APIs. But now, your agents with computer use can use um, can, can be using in the agents. And this is part of Frontier, and I'll discuss what Frontier means in a, in a few seconds. But enough slides. Let's go ahead and jump right into the demo. So for this demo, let's imagine that we receive via email invoices like this. And every time we receive an invoice, we need to go into this internal portal and take the content of the invoice and register the invoice content here. And instead of doing this manually, we want to build an agent, an agent that is able to read my email, take those PDF attachments, and put it into this, this website, and also send some notifications at the end. So let me go to Copilot Studio and see how we build this agent. So here, uh, here I've already started building an agent to do a number of tasks around, around invoice automation. And if I scroll down to the tool section, we're going to add a tool for computer use. So I'm going to click on add a tool. I'm going to add a new tool. And you're going to see that there's a new, there's supposed to be a new tool here. Uh, let me refresh the page. So in the tool menu, uh, this is where we're going to see computer use. Dun, dun, dun. All right, add a tool, new tool. There we go, computer use. Um, so the first thing I need to do is to configure the machine where computer use is going to run. Uh, let me just check that I'm in the right machine. Yes. And here, we give you two options. You can either bring your own machine. So if you have already a virtual network, a virtual machine on your, on your uh, infrastructure or a non purpose machine, you can connect it to computer use. Or you can we also offer in the Power Platform a hosted machine offering. So you can, uh, within the Power Platform, you can provision a virtual machine to run computer use. So now that I have the machine set up, I need to configure a few things. First, the name I want to give this tool. So let me call it uh, Register Invoices. Then the description. So this is the description that the engine is going to, to use to know when to call this tool. In this case, I want the agent to use this tool every time it needs to register an invoice into the invoice portal. And then the most important thing is what do I want the computer use to do? And this, just in natural language, I can describe the steps to perform. So I want you to first navigate to the website, second, register the invoice, and then submit it. It's all it takes. All natural language, I can describe all these steps. So uh, because I'm going to get in invoices from email, and every time there's going to be a different invoice, I'm going to define an input. So dynamically, I'm going to, like the, the tool is going to be able to take that invoice and process it. So let me go ahead and define an input. So invoice. As a description, I'm going to put the content of the invoice. I click on Done. And now I've configured my, my computer use tool. So let me go ahead and save it. And once I save it, I'm now able to test it and check that it, um, that it works. So let me go ahead and click on Test. Because I define an input, it's asking me for some sample data. So what I can do is simply I can just Control A, Control C. So I'm going to copy the whole content of the, of the invoice and paste it like this, like this. 
all unstructured. Uh, let's go ahead and test it. So now the moment of truth. So now computer use is going to connect to the machine that I've configured. It's going to take the prompt. I'm going to see how it's going to perform this for me in the, in the target machine. So here it is in this test experience. We're going to see now in a few seconds on the left the different reasoning steps that the computer use tool is doing, and on the right what is happening on the machine. So we see that it has connected to the machine, and now it has opened a browser. And it's going to go, and first thing it's going to do is navigate to that first website that is specified in the first step. So it's, it's putting, it's, it has moved the mouse to the address bar. It has typed the address of the website, and it's going to now load the website. Here's an interesting thing, and perhaps let me zoom in a little bit. So I don't know if you saw it. There was, um, there was a pop-up at the beginning, but nowhere in the instructions I specified that what it should be done with the pop-up. But because computer use is always analyzing the content on the screen, what he has done, he, he has read the content of the pop-up and said, hey, like, this is just a notification about some upcoming maintenance, nothing critical. I can dismiss it. I can continue with the, 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 the execution of the, of the tool. So now it's going to take the content that I pasted from the PDF and start filling in the form for me. It's automatically figuring out how to map the content of the PDF into the form. Something interesting to note as well is the dates. So as you can see here, the expected date format is day, month, year in digits. But if I switch back to the invoice, the uh, date comes like this. So day, month, year, but the month comes uh, written. And again, because we're using an AI model uh, at runtime, it's able to do the conversion for me. So it's, it has taken that original date, and using AI is converting to the expected date. So again, all natural language, I didn't have to write any complex formula, any script. I just described the task that I want to do as if, as if I were to uh, explain to a colleague of mine. So now it's going to take a couple more seconds to finish uh, writing the um, line item, and then it's going to go and submit it. Maybe while we wait for the finish, uh, so we were saying at the beginning of the demo session that this is now available as part of Frontier. So Frontier is a new program where we're going to be releasing new uh, cutting edge models and uh, features across Microsoft. And for Copilot Studio, if you want to be part of Frontier, today you're going to need to be a US customer with at least 500,000 uh, Copilot messages uh, purchased. If you have that, from today, you're going to have access to computer use in your, in your environments. So here we see that the uh, test is complete. So we can go and finish the testing. In this case, everything went well, so I can continue. If it didn't go well, I can always go here and in natural language change to the instructions of my computer use tool. So we have already have the computer use tool, but we still need to finish building the end-to-end the -end process. So let me switch back to the overview uh, section. And before that, what I'm going to do is, because this is going to take some time, I'm going to simulate that I'm a vendor, which I'm going to send an email to myself uh, with the invoice. So let me send the email. And if I switch now to my mailbox, like I'm going to receive that, that email, and that's what was going to trigger the, the agent. There we have it. So going back to the overview page of the agent, I've uh, added, so we've added the uh, uh, computer use tool, so that's configured. I've also added a trigger. So uh, what I've done is that this agent is going to run every time I receive an email with an invoice. And I've also added an agent flow that is going to send a number of notifications after uh, the computer use tool is done. So if we could look at the uh, agent flow, so basically what it does is it's going to, after the computer use tool is finished, it's going to send to this agent flow an email to write, uh, the email address to send it, and some additional data. And, and it's then going to send an email to the person who sent me the invoice. And it's also going to post in Teams a notification letting the team know that this invoice has been successfully processed. So with that, um, it, everything is configured. The only thing I have to do is in the agent instructions, I can finish setting that up. So when an invoice is received, I want to register it using the computer use tool that we just built. So let me add that. And then after the invoice has been registered, I want the confirmation email notification to be sent using the agent flow that I've added. So with that, if I go to activity, we should see now that uh, our automation is running. It's 11.52. Here we have it. Um, and if we go into here, we're going to be able to see the whole history run of the agent. And if I switch to trust review, I'm able to see, again, the computer use tool execution. So I can see the whole history of what the computer use is reasoning along with the screenshots. So this is running on a, on a machine in the background. So I could be doing something else. This could be running throughout the day, throughout the night. And if I want to inspect what happened, I can always go, go here. Because this is going to take us a bit more time, uh, I'm going to switch to 
uh, run which already completed, which is this. And this is what you will see once the agent finishes. So it got the email, it sent the email content to the computer use tool. We see it here. And then once the computer use tool has registered that invoice into the portal, it then triggers the agent flows to then send that confirmation email back to the vendor. And if I switch to Transcript View, this is where we can see the whole history again of the agent of the computer use tool. So I can inspect that the computer use did exactly what I expected to do. All right. So um, as you can see, just in, in a matter of minutes, we've been able to uh, build an agent that is able to work both with websites that have APIs and also combine it with triggers and agent flows to connect with, with APIs. So with that, uh, in the few minutes that we have left, let me switch back to the slides. So to recap, what we just saw. So now in Copilot Studio, we can add computer use to be able to automate uh, any system, including applications and websites that don't have APIs. All it takes is natural language. So I just have to describe the task I want the tool to do, and it will do it for me in, in a machine. Once I put that the instructions, I can then test it. So in that test experience, I can make sure that the instructions perform as I want it to do. If not, I could always make changes to the instructions. And then once I configure my agent, I can publish it and it will run autonomously. And I can always go back to the activity view to review the history of, of the execution. And this is just one of the examples, like the possibilities of combining computer use with agents are really endless. Data entry is something that we hear a lot. We've seen a lot in our private preview customers. It's not only about invoices, like any system that you need to put data from one place to another. You can use computer use for, for that. Another second popular use cases that we're seeing is data extraction. In many cases, there's like a need to generate some type of report or like market research. You can have computer use go into a website and extract the data that you need or a desktop application as well. And then also across applications. So uh, what the example that we saw today, it was just one application, but within a single computer use session, you can um, combine multiple applications. You can say, hey, I want to start from a desktop application. Then I want you to go to a website A, website B. You can do all that within a single, a single session. And with that, um, if you want to learn more about computer use, I have this link here, so aka.ms-mcs-cua, C-U-A. Uh, you'll see all the requirements to join the Frontier, more examples, more video examples, and yeah, more information on computer use. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this demo session and really can't Thank wait you. to see what you all build with computer use in Copilot Studio. Thank you. Thank you.